Crow fam, we got a lot of good stuff going on inside of Crow. We're going to do a little monthly recap, and we're also, also going to do a technical analysis here for Kronos. So much going on with the technicals here, and it looks like Kronos is actually about to have a breakout, and we're going to talk about that today. Remember, I'm not a financial advisor. None of this is financial advice. But let's go straight over this. So first things first, we're up 2.3% in the last 24 hours with Crow. That's a decent, you know, it's nothing big to be happy about. Down 4.4% in the last seven days. A lot of other cryptos are down more than that, by the way. And we're also, you know, down 7.8% in the last 30 days, which is not that bad compared to what a lot of other things did. But now that Bitcoin is recovering as well as other cryptos, we're seeing Kronos is recovering as well. So we're seeing everything is kind of recovering in the market. Hopefully Bitcoin can get back to what it once was. You know, everything in the crypto market is doing way better than it was before, though. So almost there with Bitcoin, almost at 80K, you know, 73K is coming soon again. We're at 69K Bitcoin. Hopefully it'll continue to grow. I've seen some technical patterns here, though, in Kronos and in Bitcoin that kind of show that we're about to have another breakout. And that's actually what I wanted to talk about today, because if you just look at the charts here on CoinGecko, you can't really tell. But if you go over here and look at it on TradingView, you can see that we once had the same pattern and we broke out for a bullish movement. You can see like this, this was obviously a bigger flag pattern, right? It was a bigger um, it was a bigger one. And you can see here. But what's happening now is a bit smaller and it's a shorter time frame. But we're still seeing the same pattern. So if it does the same exact thing that it did last time, we could see Kronos breaking out above the Fibonacci retracement here at 15 cents and going well over where our momentum wave band is. And the momentum wave bands, again, these are chart prime, link in the description if you wanna use the momentum wave bands here. Very good at showing where our supports and our resistance are more likely gonna be. So if we go ahead and we pass this Fibonacci retracement, this resistance here at 15 cents, we could possibly see Kronos getting up to the top of the momentum wave band, 19 cents, probably stalling before it actually breaks that 19 cents and it hits 23 cents. So we might be seeing a 23 cent Kronos very, very soon. And we haven't seen Kronos at 23 cents in a while, in a long time, by the way. Like we haven't seen Kronos really that high. So if you look back all the way here, like Kronos, oh, actually this is Bitcoin looking at the wrong one. But if we look at the max here for Kronos, Kronos hasn't hit 23 cents in a very long time, you know, since 2022. So it's finally about to get back up there back above 20 cents it hasn't even reached above 20 cents since then so if we can see above 20 cents now at chronos it's probably going to keep running from there like a lot of people are going to be really happy about this the whole crow fam uh, i do want to mention you know after we break the fibonacci retracement if we can break out of this uh pattern here if we can break out and become bullish here little to no resistance all the way up to 23 cents obviously there will be some resistance at 20 cents but once we pass that we're going to be going straight up to 23 cents and then after that we have to worry about going from 23 cents all the way up to 28 cents right and that is probably going to be where you see bitcoin going from 69k well when chronos is at 23 cents we're probably going to see bitcoin all at like the mid to high 70ks right in the mid to high 70ks so we might see bitcoin like 75k to 79k somewhere around there and then if Bitcoin can break past that, we'll probably see it in the low 80 case where then we'll see Kronos is probably going to be touching 23 cents to 28 cents. So it's kind of funny how they both kind of uh, coexist here, but we're probably going to end up seeing them following each other. Like everything's really following Bitcoin, because if you look at the pattern here for Bitcoin, just look at the uh, three month chart here and it kind of looks a little bit similar and you can look at the Kronos three month chart. So. Both of them look very, very alike, very similar. So, you know, we're following the same pattern here. And yeah, it looks like we're about to become bullish here on both of these. So we'll see what exactly happens with that. Now, that's pretty much all for the um, technical analysis here. Again, if you want to use the Chart Prime automated trading indicators, definitely check out the link in the description for Chart Prime. That's what we have the momentum wave bands here with. Link in the description for that. Very, very cheap. You can go ahead and check that out but moving on from that i kind of want to talk about the chronos ecosystem updates one of the newest updates that we have for the chronos ecosystem is this so chronos presents meme arcade so this is pretty much um a fail proof way a foolproof way if you want to say to create a token 
on Chronos. And it's pretty cool because all you have to do is no code. You have to do no code. You just add some liquidity. You do some stuff here on the website and then you, boom, you have it. It's chronos.meme. So it says create your own meme with no code. Step one, create tokens on um, this website, which is like, it looks like minted.network, something like that. But anyways, it's saying create, you know, some thing on here and then boom, you got it. You can just create it straight from there. So it's fairly easy. No code involved. Let me get my MetaMask. I don't want people to see that. But no code involved. You can print your own CRC20 token. I'm actually thinking about doing this with my own token. Maybe I'll do it. We'll see how that goes. But yeah, and then you can apply for grants from 100 million Corgi AI meme version uh, vision fund. Um, list your token on the permissionless pool on VVS. Shout out to VVS Finance. I like VVS Finance. They're very, very good. And then you can also see you can add liquidity and you can also have other people add liquidity and boom, it's done. So very foolproof method of creating a coin. Um, and then also we have other stuff that's been happening in the Kronos ecosystem for the last month. Uh, Lilius official, as you can see here, we have that new thing over there. So multi-chain expansion with Kronos. Lilius will soon be joining the Kronos chain ecosystem following a strong partnership with Kronos. Um, more stuff over here. One of Kronos' leading NFT marketplaces, Ebsius, or Ebsus Bay, launched its own decentralized exchange, allowing for ERC-20 and ERC-1155 token swaps. Um, more stuff over here with Covalent. So you, as you can see, there's, there's just a lot of stuff just left and right, left and right. Um, this is a meme of the week for Kronos. Kronos Crow is VVS's first meme of the week winner, winning an incentivized farm on VVS for all CAW holders. So now we have a meme coin, you know, getting viral on Kronos. So there's a lot of stuff going on with the Kronos ecosystem, which is also helping the growth of Kronos itself. So Crow is going to grow along with the whole ecosystem and it's just going to go up from there, right? It's just up from there. So this is pretty much all I got for y'all today. I just kind of wanted to show you guys that the main thing here was the technical analysis because as you can see with this pattern we are definitely looking very bullish here but like i said you know it's just a matter of time we just gotta wait um if you like these automated trading indicators you can definitely check out the chart prime link inside of the description uh the description and it's very 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 uh easy to use i like using the momentum wave bands that's like the main thing i'm using here with chart prime so you can check that out if you want but also, when we look at the um, RSI down here, you know, the RSI has a little bit of uh, room to move upwards as well. Maybe it'll do what it did back here where it goes down halfway and then it stops and then it crosses and goes back up. And that's pretty much just tracking the volume right now. So anyways, hit the like button, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you want to go, go ahead and get these automated trading indicators. Link in the description for Chart Prime. Um, very, very easy trading made simple, simplified trading. Um, yeah. I like to draw out these little uh, patterns here myself, so I don't use that side of Chart Prime. Like I like to draw out my little blue flags here for myself, but you can do your own thing. I like to do my own consolidation patterns and my own uh, blue flags just to make sure that I have it correct there. But you can also do those on Chart Prime if you don't know how to do that. And yeah, anyways, that's all I got for y'all. Hit the like button and subscribe, all that good stuff. And as always, I'll be back with another video.